Movies are back! What is up, Film Geeks? My name is Trevor, and welcome back to my channel. We made it through another month. May is officially over. We are now in the month of June. But before we get into June movies, we got to look back at all the movies I watched in May and rank them, place them on their proper tiers. Before we get into that, if this is your first video here, well, welcome to the Film Geeks YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Consider subscribing if you love geeking out about film. While you're out, hit the thumbs up button for me and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update on when I post a video. And join me down below in the comment section. What movies did you guys see this month? What were your favorites, what were your least favorites, and what fell right in the middle? Let's talk about it all down below in the comment section. With that said, let's get right into our tiers. So for this tier ranking, we have best of the month. Damn, this was good. Surprises. Eh? Okay. And worst of the month. So one movie's going to go in best of the month, one movie's going to go worst of the month, and others will fall somewhere in the middle. These movies are in no particular order. I saw nine movies this month. We're going to place them on their tiers. Let's do this. So first up, we have Army of the Dead. I'm going to put this in, damn, this was good. Over on Letterboxd, it gave us a three and a half out of five. I had a lot of fun watching it. Zack Snyder's back. He's had two pretty dang good movies this year. One in Zack Snyder's Justice League and now Army of the Dead. This one was definitely a little bit cliche. Definitely kind of knew where it was going, but I just had fun watching it. Dave Bautista is out here kicking ass. Um, the, it's a little bit long. It runs on for about a little over two and a half hours, but the zombie killing, the zombie world, the whole creation of the zombies, is all the characters coming together, turning on each other, was all done really well. It's a typical zombie movie. I love a good zombie movie, and this to me was a damn good zombie movie. Damn, this was good. Then we have Without Remorse, which actually came out at the end of April, and I watched it in this month, so I'm cheating just a little bit, but um, that's going to go in worst of the month. One of the worst movies I've seen this year. This was one of the most boring action movies for something that was supposed to be such an epic action movie. I was just extremely bored, was not having a good time watching this. Michael B. Jordan's okay with what they give him, but... He really doesn't make up for the lackluster script, the overall just boring action, and just the kind of overall simplicity of the nature of the story and the simplicity of the script. It's all just something we've seen thousands of times before, and it's definitely the worst of the month. I, was, I just wasn't a fan of this one. Then we have Mitchells versus the Machines. I'm going to put this in surprises. It would go in, damn, this was good, but this is a huge surprise. Not sure if this came out in April or in May, but I know everyone was raving about it. It's so good, and I'm here to say... It was damn good. It was a huge surprise. One of the biggest surprises of the year so far. I love the animation style. Lord and Miller, I believe the guy's names are. They produced this movie, the creators and directors of Spider-Verse. So they're back here with this crazy unique animation style. This family road trip with basically smartphones turning to robots taking over the world. Something that might happen here in the future with everything going on. But Mitchell's Machines is fun. It's a cute family friend movie. And the dog with the big eyes. Stole the show. I'm just going to say, he stole the show. I had a lot of fun watching this. If they want to make a sequel, I'm down for it. Um, Big surprise for the year. To me, probably the best animated movie of the year so far over Ryan the Last Dragon. I said it. But Mitchell's vs. the Machines is a huge surprise. A real fun movie to watch. I watched it twice. Well, I talked about it with my friends. Recommended all of them. They all enjoyed it. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's dang, definitely a good one. Then we have Wrath of Man. So May was a great month for movies. When I saw Wrath of Man at the beginning of the month, I said, this is my favorite movie of the year. Scoring and damn, this was good. And I saw a couple others that are going to be above it in the best of the month here. So, Wrath of Man, Guy Ritchie, my personal favorite director working right now. And Jason Statham, this is the best we've seen Jason Statham in quite some time. Apart from the Fast franchise, taking him away from that. Kind of back with Guy Ritchie, like from Snatch. This one may be missing, like, the little fast-paced, witty dialogue from Guy Ritchie, like we got in The Gentleman. But this one's more of a serious action movie. And, dude, I dug it. I like how Guy Ritchie tells his stories out of order. He does that almost in every movie. And I love when he does that. We got that again with this one. It's a little bit darker. It's definitely not much humor in this one, but I appreciate that. This is, again, the best we've seen Jason Statham in a long time. Guy Ritchie is a mastermind. I love how he turned it all around. Not a whodunit, but more of like a mysterious type of way on who's going to turn, who's a narc, who's the bad guy, all that. We get to find it all out. There's lots of twists and turns throughout it. Great action. A really great score throughout the whole movie. I was sitting there riveted by the score. Wrath of Man is damn good. Probably my number three favorite movie of the year. I really, really enjoyed it. Cannot wait to buy it in July. Then we have Spiral. I'm putting Spiral on Dan. This was good as well. May was a great month for movie, folks. Spiral came out from the Book of Saw. I'm a big fan of the first Saw. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. This one, Chris Rock in the lead. Left us off on a cliffhanger. Are we going to get a sequel? I hope we get a sequel. I had a lot of fun with it. The traps about this one, though, the one thing I kind of had a problem with, the traps were, like, almost inescapable, and that was something that was so good from the original Saw movies that you could escape. 
that's the kind of the objective. These ones seemed a little inescapable. And I put that aside. They still had a lot of fun. There's a huge plot twist in here. I didn't see it coming. I mean, when it happened, I was kind of like, nice. They got us good. Had a lot of fun with it. Chris Rock, one of the best performances he's given probably ever. You have SLJ in there, Samuel L. Jackson. And overall, it's a really good cop mystery story. What's like, that's not all that gory like the rest of the Saw movies kind of are. Had a lot of fun with it. It was a damn good movie. Um, Not the best of the month, but damn, was it good. <sighs> Those who wish me dead. So um, I know lots of people are raving about this one. Had so much fun watching it. I love a good suspense movie. It keeps me on the edge of my seat. It's going in. Eh? Okay. Um, didn't have that much fun watching this one. Angelina Jolie just, she's okay to me anymore. I'm excited for her in Eternals, but this one just did not get me hyped up like I thought I was going to be. I was expecting to be on the edge of my seat. Invested and dude, I was bored. It was a hard time to finish through this movie. Maybe guys, that's I watched it at home on HBO Max, but definitely one of those kind of lackluster movies that's just gonna be kind of lost in the sauce by the end of the year then we have a quiet place part two and i can't believe i'm doing this but i'm putting this in damn this was good not in the best of the month i absolutely love a quiet place part two i think it's fantastic i really do i love everything about it to me it's one of the best sequels made in the 20th century i love everything about it i don't have one thing wrong with it i think it's great the action is amazing the addition of killian murphy is fantastic you have john krasinski back directing it's kind of a prequel in the beginning and then it's a hard diving sequel that is just exploring the world so much more and we get to find out so many more different things it keeps you on the edge of your seat i've seen it twice in theaters and i absolutely loved it both times but i've seen another movie twice and once in theaters, one on Disney Plus. That's Cruella. And I'm putting Cruella in best of the month. If you guys made it this far and you disagree with me, hit that dislike button. That's totally fine. I'm in love with Cruella. And I can't believe to say it, but this is my favorite movie of the year so far. I watched A Quiet Place Part 2 on Thursday night. Absolutely love it. This is my favorite movie of the year. Watched Cruella on Friday night. I said, oh my gosh, I need to watch them both again. They're neck and neck. They're going to be swift flopping back and forth for a while. But I like Cruella bit more i watched quiet place part two two times and i watched cruella's two times and i started watching cruella a third time making it to me the best movie of the month emma stone is fantastic as cruella de vil this overall world isn't really a remake it's more of a villain origin story like we got with maleficent i think it's done better than maleficent um craig gillespie from the director of i Tonya, is back we get lots of those darker vibes a lot of people are making comparisons to joker i see that i really do i got more of a birds of prey meets devil wears prada vibe that's kind of what i got from this film is darker it's definitely not made for kids emma stone crushes it as uh cruella de vil and the characters of horace and jasper are so amazing and emma thompson as the baroness is one of the best villains i've seen in a long time you love to hate her inside this film you want her just to to meet her demise the costumes are absolutely outstanding and the overall production design better be getting oscar nominations all i'm saying cruella to me is the best movie of the month i absolutely loved it i have a full review on my channel feel free to check that out then we have In the Heights, which actually comes out in June, but I got a chance to see it in May. And that's going to damn this was good as well. So May had four movies that were my favorite of the year. It started with Wrath of Man, my favorite movie of the year. Then it went to In the Heights, favorite movie of the year. Then it went to Quiet Place Part 2, favorite movie of the year. Then it went to Cruella. This is how good of a month uh, May was. In the Heights is based off a musical off from a Broadway show from Lim Nan Well Miranda, and he is back in this movie just a little bit, and it's starring Anthony Ramos, and he's a star in the making. I am so excited to see what he does next, and I loved a lot about this movie. To me, the only problem I had was that's about two and a half hours, and it's a musical. It kind of drags on. You think it's going to end about five times, and it doesn't, and that's why it's going down to sell. And the damn is good, not best of the month. The musical numbers are outstanding. Overall cast is amazing together. The chemistry is great. The overall story is so inspiring. And the way they told a story with Usnavi, played by Anthony Ramos, he's the lead star and he's kind of narrating the whole movie, telling a story and it's going different plot points of that. It's all done really well. I want to see this on Broadway one day or maybe off Broadway if they ever do it again. It'll be so fun to go and watch it. The musical numbers are jumping. The dance scenes are popping. I mean, everything about this movie just screams summer fun. They're in a summertime movie. You get a summertime time vibe watching it i loved a lot about in the heights the solid 4.5 out of 5 for me it was a really great month for movies but cruella is my favorite movie of the month and of the year for that matter it was a great month for movies what did you guys watch this month Let's talk about it down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching it's been a while since i did one of these glad to be back doing it talking about all the movies i saw in the month saw nine this past month that's pretty good for me I'm pretty excited about that. Let me know what you guys saw as well. Let's talk about it all down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.